Today we're going to try Bumblebee's Prime Protein on the Run. This is specifically the olive oil and zesty lemon blend. Um, I've, I like these tuna kits. I get these a lot. They're good snacks. They're good if you're out and stuff like that. Now this is specifically a tuna snack kit and not a meal kit necessarily. So it's going to be a little bit smaller. More for like, you know, if you want a quick snack, if you're like on the road or whatever, I guess. Or if you're hiking or something like that. I think that's what they imagine people are using these for. Like packing them when they're out like camping or something as a quick snack or something like that. Or maybe a lunch at work and you want to keep it light so you get the protein on the run. A uh, quick hit of tuna protein. Um, but it's a little bit small. 3.5 ounces. And it's more money than I would normally spend on these. $3.99 at Target for this. I usually would get the lunch kits, the actual, not the non-prime versions are about the same price or maybe even a little less and they come with like, you know, like cookies and crackers and like more tuna and stuff like that. They're a little bit more of a substantial meal. And this one, you're just getting one can of small, small can of tuna, uh, three crackers and a small caramel candy, which is an interesting choice. I don't know why they included a caramel candy, probably because it's the cheapest thing they could put in there and not something people would actually want. I, I don't know how many people want a caramel candy. I guess a good amount of people, but I feel like that's a weird choice when they could have put, you know, just put like a snack size Snickers or something in there. And that'd be a little better, but no, we got one sweet caramel because they probably, that's probably the cheapest thing they could find. But I'm curious to see how prime this is. The olive oil and zesty lemon, aspect of it which is the prime aspect of it interesting to me instead of just regular tuna we're going to get something a little more special so hopefully it's worth the extra money that's that's the real question so we open it up on the side this is what you see there's your caramel your crackers and your tuna right here and we got one of my favorite inventions which i found in uh the last tuna kit I, review i did a while ago the spoon the collapsible spoon that goes like that really cool i like this idea this this is fun I, I even though it's just one you know a little hinge on the spoon i find myself greatly enjoying it and this is a pretty quality spoon spork whatever you want to call it this is a pretty quality one uh for a throwaway kit now here's our protein on the run zesty uh, zesty lemon and olive oil i keep getting the name wrong it's just got a pull tab which is nice instead of a big crank and then we have our partners a tasteful cracker olive oil and sea salt crackers so i guess i don't know if these are supposed to taste like olive oil and sea salt on their own or they're just made to go with this i think they're just supposed to go with it based on the ingredients i'm not really seeing flavors i think it's just crackers that go with olive oil and sea salt maybe i'm wrong hold on i'm gonna look at the ingredients on these a little bit closer just to be sh certain for myself enriched unbleached flour perfect buttermilk uh, salt, vitamin A, vitamin D3, mono, blah, 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 buttermilk. Okay. I think they are, in fact, supposed to taste like olive oil and sea salt on their own, but the list of ingredients is a bunch of chemicals I've never heard of. So not a name brand cracker, but they're partners, a, a tasteful cracker. So hopefully they're good. I'm, I'm actually very curious. I'm going to open one of these up if I can open this package uh, without embarrassing myself because it's proving to be a little difficult. There we go. And I'm going to try one of these right now real quick just to see if they're olive oil and sea salt on their own okay they are in fact olive oil and sea salt flavored it's, it's pretty light but honestly i'm not a, a big fan of these crackers yet so that's that's point number number one deduction unfortunately the caramel is a, a soft caramel, so that's that's a point addition. Now we're we're even, so let's get back to the real thing. Ba, ba, ba. Take a good look at this tuna. Looks like tuna. Um, it's a little bit packed uh, hard, but that's okay. That's what you expect when you get a can of tuna. But you got this nice spoon to navigate it with. It smells really good. It smells lemony. I'm gonna put it on a cracker and eat it instead of uh, constantly talking. Let's just get to the uh, review. Although this is interesting because it's just tuna. It's not actually like a, I was kind of expecting it to be more of like a tuna salad with some mayo or something in it, but no, this is straight up tuna. You're not getting any mixture here. If you want to bring your own mayo to add to it, that's on you, but you're just getting straight tuna and crackers, but it smells like lemon and hopefully it tastes like it. Wow. Well, I'm at a bit of a crossroads right now. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit arguing with myself because this tuna 
this olive oil and zesty lemon tuna right here in this can might be the best pre-made like tuna I've ever had. And I, I buy a lot of those like tuna packets, like the lemon pepper ones and the Thai chili ones and stuff like that. But this might be the best, single best tuna out of a can or package I've ever had. I really, 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 really like it. Um, it's very strong lemon flavor. So if you're not into lemon, you're not gonna like it, but it's got the zing to it. It's got the zazz, it's got the pizzazz. I don't really know how to explain it. You know, it's got the lemon, strong lemon flavor. It's acidic, but the olive oil kind of cuts it down and it's just beautiful. I, I, I don't really know how they achieved it. Um, it's just a beautiful flavor. And again, this is just tuna. There's no like mayo or anything else in there. It's just tuna with olive oil and, and lemon. That's that's really all there is to it, but it's it's really good. I, I, I wish I had this in a bigger form. I was I spent the time between, um, you know, tasting it and doing this. I was looking up, I was like, please tell me they have this bumblebee tuna, like this, this flavor in regular cans or in pouches or something. They don't. Um, this is the only place they have it is in these little protein on the run kits because this is excellent. I would buy this any day of the week to make sandwiches or whatever you want with your tuna. Um, it's fantastic. I think it's great tuna. Now the problem comes with the rest of the kit. As I said, the crackers, I got one cracker left. Not great. They're okay crackers. They're not anything special, but when it's two, when it's really, I was going to say two thirds, it's basically one half of this kit because the caramel, which I also ate because you got it, you know, you got to do it for the review. It's fine. It's a caramel. There's nothing special about it. I feel like somebody at Bumblebee, you know, they were trying to come up with something. They were like, what's the cheapest thing we could throw in here to say that it has like a dessert element? Oh, caramel. That'll cost us like three cents a package. So let's put those in there and then we can say we got, you know, a caramel in it. So it's a little bit, there's three items in there instead of uh, two. But that I feel like is, doesn't really matter in the equation. It's really about the crackers and the tuna. And the tuna is a, a five out of five easy for me, six out of five almost but the crackers are a solid three, you know? They're mediocre, they're not bad, they're not good. And then we come to the price, which $3.99 for this is just a little bit too much, I think. $2.99, I would be ecstatic. $3.99, even though I really love this tuna, I'm on the edge of even buying another one just because it's so expensive, you know? Um, I just, uh, it really hits me on the price. That's that's the problem, And but it is prime, you know? I feel like it is worth paying a little extra for this tuna because it's quality. I just wish the crackers were up to the spec too, because I feel like if the crackers were really good crackers and I could say both, you know, everything in it was really good, it would be easy to give it a five, but I cannot do that because the crackers really do let it down uh, for the price. So I'm gonna give it a solid four, four out of five, even though it is expensive, I think it's worth trying if you're somebody who, you know, has to take lunches or goes hiking or whatever. If you're in a place where you want a quick snack that you could just pull out, a quick quality snack that you can pull out and eat out of the box. This is it. I think it's worth it. It's worth the $3.99 to me. But the problem is I'm not sure if it's worth $3.99 over and over again, if you know what I mean. It's worth it. This this trip, you know, this, this one I bought for the review, worth it. I might buy another one, but I might not because it's just right on the edge of being a little too expensive, even though I really do like it. So while I say it's worth it, it's also not worth it. That's why I'm in this quandary. So I'm going to give it a four, solid four. If this appeals to you in any way, I would suggest go checking it out because it's really great tuna. But if you're not a, you know, a big tuna fan or if you're not somebody who's going to be needing kind of a lunch snack on the run, then it's not going to be worth it to you. So that is Bumblebee Prime Protein on the Run, Olive Oil and Zesty Lemon. And I will see you all next time.